anything else I can do? No. But if there is, I'm sure you'll come in and fix it when I'm not here. You usually do. Come when I can. Yeah, funny how it's always at night. Is somebody there? Who is it? Only me. Oh. What do you want? Oh, just to say hello. Look, I'm warning you, stay away from me! Hey, Karina, it's me. <laughs> Let me in. Nikki's in here! Help me! Open up! Let me in! Get lost! We're busy! Karina! There's nothing to do with you. Nick! Help! Get away from her! You okay? Get out! This is my place! It's hers. She pays the rent. You've got no right hanging around. I'll get the cops out to you. Go ahead. I'll tell your missus what you've been up to. I'm sure she'd love to know. You're out of here. Evicted! Good, I wouldn't stay if you paid me. You've got 24 hours to shift your gear. After that, I change the locks. Don't expect any bond back. Thanks to your boyfriend. I hate paperwork. Join the club. Howdy, stranger. Remember me? We actually live together. Hi, is Leonard off duty yet? Any minute. You two coming home? It depends on what he wants to do. It would sort of be nice to see you once in a while. Uh -huh. We've got bills to sort out. The, the, the telephone's due tomorrow. You haven't even looked at the account. Sorry? Or what do I owe? Well, how would I know? Some of Julianne's calls are all in there. You've got to work out your share. We've got Leonard. to... Leonard! Oh, hi, sweetie. How was your day? Okay, precious. How was yours? I missed you. Oh, not as much as I missed you. More. Couldn't have. Oh, this is getting beyond a joke. And look, love makes some people a bit weird. It just <gasps> turns your brain into marshmallows. Hey! Oh. <laughs> As I was saying, you're awesome. You're really good. Oh, I did okay, didn't I? Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Just because I called Kate does not mean I have to date her. Steve, I heard you chatting to her. You obviously liked her. So? So? Why did you wimp out? What's the problem? I told you it wouldn't be ethical. <laughs> hey, guys. Yes. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Witness the miracle, Steve Mills having an attack of ethics. Oh, get out of here. Come on, you guys, give me a break, will Look, you? Look, Steve's own computer says that this is the perfect woman for him. Is she gorgeous or what? Mmm. Cut it out. <laughs> Man, if your own system says she's the one, why don't you go for it? I'm shy, all right? What's that? For thump, oh, a flock of Albanian pigs passing overhead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to bed. <laughs> Man, I thought I was the show one. Mm, yeah, maybe it's contagious. Mm. Sammy, luckily there's a cure for shyness. What are you up to, girl? Just wait a minute. Kate Wheeler? Yeah, hi, it's Alison Rayner from the Love Clinic. Uh, I was wondering if you're available tomorrow night. Great! Are you sure they're asleep? Mum's light's been up half an hour. But she'll go mental if she finds out that I'm here. Well, who's gonna tell her? Besides, you've got no place else. Well, I could go to Kirsty. She said it'd be okay. Not as much fun, but. <laughs> Come on, then, quiet. Well, we'll see you in a couple of weeks, Mrs. Kanker. Okay. Bye bye. Morning, Marge. All set for your Holmes interview tonight? Truth to tell, I'm a nervous wreck. 
I mean, Jane's gone to Sydney for a while, and Stuart doesn't seem too keen on the idea. You'll be fine. Yeah, just take a few deep breaths before you start and you'll be fine. Locate your emotional centre. You're very knowledgeable. I read it somewhere, it's what all the TV stars do. Mm. We seem to be overrun with celebrities of one sort or another at the moment. Yeah, first Henry, now Ma. <laughs> Morning. Oh, Alison, love, should you be back at work so soon? Oh, I can't stay home forever. Anyway, Miss Burton promised she'd put me on light duties. And nothing more strenuous than paperwork. Oh, Jackie will be pleased. Oh, my goodness. Look who it is. It's Marjorie Nielsen here. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I'm Marjorie Nielsen. Marjorie Paul Holmes. Yes, I know. Nice to meet you. Marjorie, we're going to need to go over a few points, you know, to get some facts right, and then um, I'll go back to the studio and we'll be doing the interview from there later. Of course. Um, um is mm. there somewhere a little more private we could talk? Oh, y yes, of course. <laughs> Sure, Arthur. They always are. Um. Oh, it's hot. Have some more milk. Never mind, I haven't got time. Have you seen my car keys? Oh, thanks. <laughs> See you tonight. Bye. Don't be late for school. No, Mum. Just go, will you? I'm going, I'm going. She's gone. Right, I'm starving. What's to eat? I can think of better things to do. <laughs> like, oh, what? Nick. Honestly, I don't know where my head is this morning. Forgot my lunch. Thanks, and I really should get something out of the freezer for tonight. Let me. Chops, OK? Oh, we haven't got any. Maybe, um... I'll find something. Just go. You're going to be late. Uh, yeah, OK, OK. Bye. Hang on. She's gone. Oh, close, eh? Mega. Are you busy? What's it look like? No, 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 no. Tonight. Nothing major. You are now. Dinner, al fresco, eight o'clock, dress smart. I know that scheming little smile. Yeah, you said in the mirror most mornings, Mr. Fix It. And what have you done? What do you a two chicken to do? Kate, uh, I wish you had enough. Well, someone had to. Look, it's all set. You've got to meet her there at 8 o'clock, and if you need some money, I'll loan it to you. You sure you haven't forgotten anything, like the Sherford limousine? Just don't you push your luck, matey. Be there. Mm, right, I'll go. Good. Ellie. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Leonard, could you see Mrs. Finley at two for me? Why do I bother? Uh, Meredith, uh, could I have half an hour of your valuable time? Uh, would this be for your little PR exercise on the joys of cosmetic surgery? Oh, some might call it that. Sorry, I'm busy. Oh, Michael would be most disappointed, you see. He's promised me the surgeon's cooperation. I could tell him you've refused, but uh, somehow I know you make time for me. Yes, all right, but not today. I've got a full caseload and a counselling session I can't miss. Oh, something to do with the fixation on percussion instruments? Andrew's father is trying to gain custody. If I don't go to these sessions, I might lose him. I'm sorry, I didn't realise. Well, now you do. I hope it goes well. Thank you. But I will come back to you about the research. And in the meantime, do you know where Sunderland is? Mm, I'll try exam two. Right. You... And the hair is so beautiful, it's so dark and kind of shiny. You really like it? I love everything about you. Your teeth, your ears. I've got awful ears. No, you don't. They're magical. The most incredible ears in the world. And your nose. So perfect. So honest. I don't come in unless you've had your insulin. What? I love your glasses. Leonard. They're so distinguished and intelligent, just like you are. Really? Doctor. And the way your mouth goes, just there. It's enough to make you believe in God. Dr. Dodds. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear you come in. In case it's escaped your notice, which it obviously has, would you in surgery in 20 minutes, if you could possibly tear yourself away? Y yes, I'm coming. See you later, baby Ben. Don't be too long, love muffin. Not a second longer than I have to. I couldn't stand it. Me either. Oh, this cage is so awful. 
squid. You leave it here, I'll come back. Okay. What are we going to do with Hannibal? Put him in the garden shed, I guess. Well, he'll be lonely. Jenny. Hey, careful. Honor, you're here. In the flesh, as are you. Let me guess. A school sports day, right? Yeah, I just came home to get changed. Oh, and you brought this ferret along because you think it needs the exercise. What's the story? I got kicked out of my flat. The Slezoid landlord tried to jump her. I haven't got any place else to go. Don't tell Mum, please. Why not? She's already said Serena can't stay. It won't be for long. Just until she finds another place, please. Nothing to do with me. All right. Oh, sir. You just keep this ferret away from me. If it bites me, I squeal. Okay. This thing won't bother you, will it? No, nah, lad. You just get on with your job. Did you hear the message today? Oh, I did indeed. Well done. Oh, thanks to you, mostly. Nothing like getting back to basics, eh? <laughs> to prove a man's gun. Yeah, but those beta blocker things, they really made a difference. Settled me right down. Ah, well, I'm pleased to help. One bowl or two or another, right? Eh? I was still a bit shaky in the first over, though. Do you reckon, you reckon I should take the million? Or more of them. If you look like running out, just give me a shout. I'll do that, Mr. S. Do what? <laughs> oh, could we move this chair back a bit? It's going to crowd the shot. Oh, yes, I suppose so. Frank, get a good close up on this family photo. Paul will like that. Would you like a cuppa? No, thanks. If you could just sit here for me, that'd be fine. Excuse me. I am feeling rather nervous. Why do I say the wrong things? Just answer Mr. Holmes's questions. Like you did this morning. That wasn't too bad, was it? No. Actually, he was very polite. He was easier to talk to than I thought he would be. Where are you going, Stuart? No. No, you can't go out now, Stuart. We're starting soon. Listen, you being here could make a real difference. You do want to find your father, don't you? I need you here, Stuart. Don't expect me to do this on my own. Yeah, OK. What's all this, Anna? Marge's interview on Holmes. Oh, yeah, right, right. Hey, have you got anything that's good for the nurse? Isn't he wonderful? <laughs> Brilliant. Food. I need food, Gina. It's all off. You'll have to have a chockey bar. Well, what's up with you? I, I remember when this place used to be a mecca of muchy delights. Who needs food when you've got love? Everything organised, sweet cakes. If you can just plug it in, dumpling. I'll just have some coffee, no sugar. Steve, I want to thank you. Without you and your computer, I'd still be a lonely guy. And I could get something to eat. <laughs> no, really, Steve. I'm just so glad that me and Leonard are happy. I wish everyone could be like that. Love is a truly beautiful thing. You should try it. Maybe I will, Gina. Hey, it's starting. All right. Good evening to you. Each year, all over New Zealand, certain men and women get up in the morning, they kiss their wives or their husbands goodbye, and they leave, never to return. Such is the case of Thomas Nielsen, husband and father of four. Some of a poetic disposition blame the phenomenon on flying saucers, the more worldly suggest generally that another man or woman is involved. Whatever the reason, I'm sure that you've been aware of how this respected member of the community, Thomas Nielsen, this decorated ambulance driver, vanished over a week ago. Well, tonight we're going to try and understand why such a man would turn his back on his marriage, on his children, and simply disappear. I'm going to be talking with his wife, Marjorie Nielsen, and his son, Stuart. Good evening to you both. Good evening. Well, now, I'm, I, I know this must be a very worrying Well, let's just hope it helps. You, and I'd like to thank you for, for agreeing to this interview. If it'll bring my Tom back. I, I she understand won't see that there's several leads, as you on have reception with me. About, but uh, uh, but uh, as yet, the police have been unable to locate him. Yes. Do you believe the police have done enough? They've certainly been very helpful. But so far... Well, they haven't found him. Marge, what do you think's happened to your husband? I mean, we've heard stories all of us over the years, haven't we, of men who disappear and then they turn up years later with a new identity in a new city, a new wife. No, Tom wouldn't do that. You don't believe in flying saucers? No, of course I don't. Well, I don't, I don't want to cause you further distress, but do you think 
Do you think that it is possible that your husband might be dead? Oh, no. We've always been very close. If something... Had... Well, I'd know. I'm sure I would. Yes, you know, of course, but... But if there's been no foul play, and we're not certain that there has been, would a man like your Tom simply abandon his family? I would if I was him. Oh, no. No, he wouldn't. We've always been a very happy family, and Tom's been a good husband, a good father. I mean, he's a good man. I mean, deserting us, well, it wouldn't be like him. I mean, not at all. I pray every day that he'll come back. Poor Marge. Well, indeed, I hope, and I'm sure people watching right around the country hope that your prayers will be answered and your husband uh, will be returned. Thank you very much. So do I. Well, now, Stuart, we, we go to Stuart now. And, Stuart, I know, you've, I know you've probably been over this a hundred times in your mind, Stuart, but is there any possible explanation you can think of for your father's disappearance? Is, is, there, is there anything at all, Stuart? Why don't you get stuffed? Well, the last one he walked out didn't swear. It's I'm sure Mark Lee uh, was very upset, and uh, all, all, all the best to, to all of you. <laughs> Fancy Stuart doing a Dennis Connor at home. Mm. Poor Marge must be devastated. I reckon it's awesome. I mean, doing that on national TV. Shut up, Nick. But why? Stuart leaving like that isn't going to solve anything. Well, maybe he knew something that he didn't want to tell. What if... Tom really has just gone away, and if Stuart found out, there's no way he'd ever tell Marge. I mean, it would kill her. But he would have told the police, surely. Oh, I don't know. It's a tricky situation to be in. You, you're the meat in the sandwich. Mm. Yeah, right. I reckon there's something really weird going on, though. I mean, the thing with that doctor. Yeah, and the truck. I mean, I told Stuart about that, but... Yeah. Stewie, we saw you on the telly. Can I get you anything? Coffee. Have that filled at the pharmacy and make sure you finish the entire course. Thanks, Dr. Fleming. Okay. Have you got time for coffee? I'm not in the mood, Guy. I'm not hassling. How did your meeting go? Not good. We didn't even talk about Andrew's custody. I thought that's what you were there for. Oh, David kept hammering and hammering about access. Yeah, well, that's not surprising. Well, if it were up to me, I wouldn't even let him see Andrew. Not until we had something sorted out. If Andrew doesn't want to see his father, then you've got... But that's the problem. He does. If I stop him, he'll hate me. Oh, that's a bit extreme. Oh, well, no. Look like I'm not trying to cooperate. That, that would go against me. Not necessarily. If your ex has been unreasonable... He's not my ex. And he's not being unreasonable, I suppose. It only makes it worse, really. So, was there any point of agreement in all this? David gets Andrew occasional nights during the week and every other weekend. I just wish he'd leave us alone. I try and relax. We'll work out for the best. They teach you that useless rubbish in social worker school? Advanced Platitudes 301. <sighs> hey, you'd rather I hassled you for an interview? Definitely not. Good, then I won't. Uh, not yet. But be warned, I don't give up very easily. Yeah, I guessed. I'm just not sure about this, you know? It's the first time since... Hey, Kate sounded really nice on the telephone. And it's only dinner. If it doesn't work out, no big deal. Clock's ticking, best friend. Just don't hassle me, OK? Go on, get out of here. You can't keep the lady waiting. Yeah. Have you got your keys, wallet? Clean hanky. Cap, T-shirt, butter, bullets. <laughs> got everything I could possibly need, all right? Then go. I won't be late. Never know your luck. Have fun, OK? I'll try. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, lighten up. It took balls to do what you did. Yeah. yeah. It was going to take a lot more to go home and face Mum. Or is there any chance I can hide out at your place over the next couple of days? Hey, um, we're sort of full up at the moment. Yeah, I'm staying there. Since when? Since last night. I bet Jenny loves that. She there doesn't is... know yet. <sighs> There's no way you guys are going to get away with it. We have so far. Well, just. Oh, they sprung us this afternoon. <laughs> oh, that would have blown it. <laughs> no, you said he'd keep quiet about it. He's keeping quiet about what? Oh, nothing. Um, did you see Stewie on Holmes today? 
Yes, we watched it in Michael's office. Uh, this is for you. Congratulations. On what? Let Leonard tell you. The research grant. The one I applied for before I came here. I got it. Oh, you are so wonderful. Isn't he so clever? Yeah. <laughs> you must be delighted to have your work recognised. Honey, what's wrong? It's for advanced study at Bonn University. Uh, isn't that in Germany? If I take it, I have to leave next week. Over there? Thank you very much. Thanks. Mr. Mills, is there a problem? No, there's nothing. There's no tea. I didn't bother. Yeah, okay. Why did you do that? Do you have any idea how embarrassed I was? I didn't know what to say to poor Mr. Holmes. Stuff him. Oh, you said that. On national TV. I mean, what people must think of us. Who really cares? I do. I don't ask much of you, Stuart. But that was just... It might have been the only chance we had of finding your father. It's not going to happen. We don't know that. He's out there somewhere. Look, it's been in the newspapers, on the radio, everywhere. Tom might not have read them. He could be hurt, a bump on the head, amnesia, that sort of thing. And seeing your face and hearing your voice could have made all the difference. It could have brought him home. He's not coming back. He's dead. Dead. You mustn't think that. There's always hope. I mean, we have to believe. Yeah, well, you can if you want. <laughs> Stuart, love. We don't know what happened. I do. He's committed suicide. Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost, but since I think the change is what I need. If I'm looking for a chance out of dream, shine and stream. Taking down the whole my place, yesterday's another place, just living for the times we I'll be shining and strong. If you want to find a way of searching for another world, it's hard to see. Shine and strong. Shortland Street was made with the help of your broadcasting fee, so you can see more of New Zealand on air.